I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we finally have a nail video. How freaking exciting. So that is the before, like this, the um, client that I am starting with. And we're gonna start straight away with the prep. You know, I like to just get straight into these things and it's been a while so I thought I would leave as much as possible in this video so you guys can see exactly how I sort of like do everything. So I started off by sanitising the nails, pushing back the cuticles and all of that good stuff and then I'm coming in with my e-file and this one is a new one. I will be having a video coming up extremely, extremely soon so please look out for that one. And I'm using my cuticle bit from Todak USA and basically just going around the cuticle area and onto the nail bed slightly just to remove any dead overgrown skin or cuticle that has grown down the nail. And I like to do this just to ensure that we really have a nice clean prepped nail surface. This is not harsh on the nail at all, I am not applying any pressure. I'm literally just sort of like tickling the surface of the nail plate just to remove anything that shouldn't be there. So next I am applying the nail tips and the nail tips that I'm using are the transparent Dura tips from NSI. I absolutely love these nail tips and I use them if I'm ever doing like a tip set which is most of the time and I'm using the poly bond glue from NSI as well because that glue is also freaking bomb so yes that has got to be done so yeah um, I'm applying the nail tips and then I cut them down to length make sure that you ask your client like what kind of length they want and you can also like talk to them about what job they have you can also recommend a length a shape or whatever just have a talk with your client and come to an agreement together So I'm going to use my hand file and these I just bought by from the internet, I forgot. I am going to do a huge like where to buy supplies from online because I thought that would be super freaking helpful and I thought it can help some of you guys out because I've found some really great places where I buy my things from so yeah. I'm basically just going ahead and filing the nail tips into shape. My client wanted a coffin shape and she wanted them quite short but not too short because sometimes when they are too short and this shape they can look a little bit funny so you do have to sort of make sure that they are going to look okay for the length that your client wants. So yeah basically I'm just going ahead and doing that and guys please go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Ninja Fairy Lorna and also on Instagram at Ninja Fairy Official. I will have the links down below because I am trying to reach 8k on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah I'm not even too bothered about that but yeah I am just being more active on there so it'd be great for you guys to sort of get on there because I'm going to start doing some polls, some questions and just sharing a lot of pictures and things so yeah I thought it'd be pretty awesome. So I've applied the NSI Poly Bond, no the NSI Super Bond Primer to all 10 nails and then if I do feel I need to I will go ahead and apply a second layer. Now I'm going to use the clear acrylic from NSI and I'm going to apply clear and I'm going to apply a base layer. I like to do this if I'm doing a coloured acrylic set or a glitter just because I feel it gives a really nice base and it makes sure that everything is going to be adhered to the nail nicely. Whereas if you're going to use a chunky glitter, even though you've mixed it in the acrylic one of the big glitter flakes that you're using if it is a big like chunky glitter mix they can sort of like um, lay on the surface of the nail without any acrylic under it and I find that that can sort of maybe trap dirt or bacteria and over time it can cause issues um, I don't know how anybody else feels about that but that's just the way I look at it so I always like to have that clear acrylic base underneath Plus it makes it super easy when a client comes back to change the colour because you just file straight back down to that and then reapply. I 
hope you're super excited about this nail video. I'm so glad to finally have a nail video up for you guys. It feels like it's been forever and I know I am doing a lot more makeup videos now but I do absolutely love makeup and I'm finding that that is also a passion and a love of mine. So I just love sharing things that I love with you guys so I thought that you wouldn't mind so yeah. I'm using this colour from Tones Acrylic Nails and I think it's from, mm, I can't remember which collection it's from, it's in a previous video so I will link that video above on the little tab bar, don't need to go and check that out if you want to know where this colour is from and where to purchase it. I also have a coupon code down below for that store. And this glitter that I am using is, I have no idea where it's from, I actually think that it is a custom mix. I mixed it up once for one of my clients, she wanted something very particular for an event that she was going to and I just had some spare and this client came in and she really liked it and we thought it would go nicer with the purple so that's what we decided to do together. So I just go ahead and apply acrylic colour and glitter to all of the nails in no particular order and no specific design in mind. I just know that if I'm going to be doing something like that's soft and subtle I usually do like an ombre gradient effect with no colour blocking so I sort of, I don't know, I just go for it basically, you know, like picture it in your head think it through a little bit but not too much and don't feel like you have to stick to that particular design if you don't think it's going to work. There's always time to change it up if you haven't already laid that acrylic, you know? I'm also trying out some of the alpha brushes. I got sent, I think, about four brushes, or maybe five, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm trying some of those out. I'm not sure, I think this is one here, uh, a number eight, but it might not be. I can't tell because I can't see the handle. But anyway, I'm trying some of those out and I'll have those up in a video soon, so that is really exciting. This is what the nails look like once all the acrylic is applied. I then go ahead and encapsulate in clear acrylic, file and then we are ready to apply a top coat. I like to use a LED gel top coat. I usually use a no cleanse top coat just because I really like not having to cleanse. It's just one less step that has to be done in the service so why the hell wouldn't you go for there? You know? Next it's time for some 3D art and I decided to do a flower kind of design, well it definitely is a flower and I just did it really randomly down one side, just some really cute small petals and this brush 
is which brush is this? I think it's my old one. See, I have no idea. It could possibly be the new one from Alpha Brush, but I honestly have no idea because I can't see the handle. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is. Yeah, this is the new one from Alpha Brush, and I really absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It is so tiny and perfect for these little detailing bits. So, yeah, I will have a video coming up on that. Don't worry, I'm not keeping these things from you. I just like to test them out and make sure that they are worth your guys' money before I tell you to go and buy them, if you know what I mean. Not that I'm telling you to go and buy them, but you sort of like mine initially make your decision off what I show you, so it's got to be right. I just place the liquid acrylic, making sure I drain the liquid out of the back of my brush before I place the bowl down, otherwise it's going to run everywhere. I wait a couple of seconds, maybe about five or six, maybe even a bit longer actually, and then I start patting them into place, making really cute petal shapes. And I just randomly did those on the side of the nail. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yes, that is that. I basically finish off doing that, apply some cuticle oil, and then I will show you some of the final result coming up in a minute. This is the final result. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as big and don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You've got this. I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm my kamikaze off the drain. I like $20 in a bank.